COVID-19 has impacted every corner of our world, from the functioning of our economy to the ways we socialize. Through our work, we hope to shed light on the effectiveness of the controversial measure of mask wearing, using the technique of robust synthetic control to investigate the spread of cases. Using this technique, it becomes possible to look at some counties around the United States and attempt to draw some insight. For example, let's take a look at Kansas. Wyandotte County is one of the most populated counties there, but its population has had reasonably strong mask-wearing habits, with an index of about 3.4. What might have happened if the mask-wearing index had been weaker, around 3.0? According to our synthetic control model, if this had been the case, the county would have had about 90% more cases. This translates to a difference of about 120 deaths. As a counterpoint, we can consider Atchison County in Kansas, which had a mask-wearing index of only 2.4. As of September 15, 2020, Atchison County would have had about 20% fewer cases if it had followed a stricter policy toward COVID-19, that is, had a mask wearing index of about 3.2. What is this mask wearing index? Well, it is a measure of how often people wear masks in public, based on the aggregated results of a survey conducted by the New York Times around early July. Kansas had placed a statewide mask order on June 1st, but some counties could choose to opt out. This mask wearing index tracks the fact on the ground and measures how compliant the counties were with mask regulations by condensing the information from the aforementioned survey. These results demonstrate the extreme importance of wearing masks in fighting the spread of COVID-19. But are these results specific to Kansas or do they apply in a broader sense around the United States? While well, preliminary results from our study would indicate that this benefit of mask wearing extends to other states as well. According to our model, Collin County of Texas had a mask wearing index of 3.55. As of September 15, 2020, Collin County would have had around 80% and more cases if it had followed a more lenient policy towards COVID-19, that is, had a mask wearing index of 2.99. Obviously, the hypotheticals for other counties vary widely. But this general trend is unmistakable. For the most populated counties, wearing masks is crucial to fighting the pandemic.